My name is Chris, and I'm going to tell you about the Pleiades Star Cluster. Pleiades Cluster is also known as M45 or the Seven Sisters. It is an open star cluster containing middle-aged, hot B-type stars located in the constellation Taurus. It is also among the nearest star clusters to Earth. The Pleiades are a prominent site during winter in both the northern and southern hemispheres. Cultures all over the world have stories about the Pleiades. One of the most prominent stories about the Pleiades comes from Greek mythology. The Pleiades were the seven daughters of Atlas and Pleione. The story goes that one day the great hunter Orion saw the Pleiades sisters as they walked through the Boeotian countryside and he fancied them. He pursued them for seven years until Zeus finally answered their prayers for delivery and transformed them into doves, placing them among the stars. Later on, when Orion was killed, he was placed in the heavens behind the Pleiades, immortalizing the chase. The Hubble Space Telescope, with its infrared color magnitude diagram fitting, have calculated the distance to the cluster to be about 135 to 140 parsecs. And one parsec is about 3.26 light years, or 19.2 trillion miles. So that means the Pleiades cluster is about 440 to 456 light years away or 2,592 to 2,688 trillion miles away. The distance to the cluster has been estimated by many methods, giving a range from 118 to 140 parsecs, with varying amounts of random error attributed to the lower part of the range. The Pleiades cluster contains hundreds of stars, of which only a handful are visible to the naked eye. Stars in the Pleiades are thought to have formed together from the same cloud of gas and dust, around 100 million years ago, making them 1 50th the age of our sun. Computer simulations have shown that the Pleiades cluster was probably formed from a compact configuration that resembled the Orion Nebula. There are over a thousand statistically confirmed stars in the cluster, excluding unresolved binary stars. The cluster is dominated by young, hot, blue stars up to which 14 can be seen with the naked eye depending on local observing conditions. The reason only a handful of stars in the cluster are visible is due to their magnitudes. The limit of the human vision under ideal conditions is around magnitude of 6.5 or brighter. How many you actually see depends on your own eyesight, local atmospheric transparency, and light pollution levels. From our perspective, they appear in the constellation of Taurus with approximate celestial coordinates of three hours, 47 minutes, right ascension, and plus 24 degrees declination. For Northern Hemisphere viewers, the cluster is above and to the right of Orion the Hunter as one faces south, and it transits midway between rising and setting around 4 a.m. in September, midnight in November, and 8 p.m. in January. The cluster's stars drift through space at about 25 miles a second. Like most open clusters, the Pleiades will not stay gravitationally bound forever. Some stars will be ejected after close encounters with other stars. Some will be stripped away by tidal gravitational fields from their galactic neighbors. It's been calculated that it would take about 250 million years to disperse. This gives astronomers a long time to explore and observe the cluster. After analyzing deep infrared images from Spitzer Telescope and the Gemini North Telescope, it was discovered that one of the cluster's stars HD 23514, a star that has a mass and luminosity a bit greater than that of our Sun, is surrounded by an extraordinary number of hot dust particles. This could be evidence for planet formation around HD 23514. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a bit about the Pleiades star cluster. Thanks for watching.